Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. If you're new here, think about subscribing, hit that bell for future video notifications, and hit that like at the end of the video, or dislike if you don't like it. Uh, but today's video is about creating a Windows 10 bootable USB drive to install Windows 10 on either a desktop or a laptop. So this is how to get, you know, this is the latest version based off of 1803. So if you're watching this in the future, you, then you might do the same thing. Process won't change. Uh, it's just it'll be a different version. So just keep that in mind. So here we go. Here's how to do it. Okay, so the first step to uh, creating your USB is to go to this website. So it's Microsoft.com, and I'll put I'll put a link in the description, but you can see it up here. Okay, so that's where you want to make sure you go to, and then you're going to go down to here, and you're going to go download tool now. So you're just going to click on there, and it's going to download it down on the bottom down here. It won't take that long. Okay, so once you've downloaded it, just click on this. It's going to open up your media creation tool. It's going to ask you if you want to go ahead. Just say yes. Now you can minimize this now. And it's going to show you the Windows 10 setup. It's, it's almost like it's installing an operating system. Now this will take a while. So don't, uh, don't be in a hurry. So when you get to this point, just you can read through it if you want. Or just click accept and once you get to this screen you've got two options and we're going to choose the one on the bottom which is to create the USB you now you can use a DVD if you want uh, or use it uh, to create an ISO file uh, but we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to click next okay so at this point we get to where we select our language edition and architecture being either 32 or 64 bit Windows 10 on this laptop just happens to be there and it's not letting me choose, but in a lot of cases it will let you choose that. Uh, and of course you can choose your language. So click next. And now we're at where we want to choose our media. We're going to choose the USB flash drive because that's what we're going to be doing. And we don't need the ISO file at this point. That's not what we're doing for the video, but it's there if you want to do it sometime in the future. And now we're just going to go ahead Click the USB drive and click next. And now if you don't have your USB drive in here, you can put it in and you want to select the drive. If it, and if it wasn't there, you could select it, put it in, click refresh list, and then you'd be good to go. So at this point, we're just going to go down again and we're going to click on the next button. And now it's downloading Windows 10. And now we're just going to wait. Okay, so once it's done downloading, it's going to come up and it's going to give you the screen where it's going to verify that the files were downloaded properly. There you go, verifying your download. And then it's going to move on to uh, actually putting the files onto your USB drive. And you'll see that here in just a few seconds. Okay, and like I said, so now it's creating your Windows 10 media. And uh, this will go on for a little bit too, but uh, you got to be patient doing this because it does take a while. So we're just going to let that run, and I'll just advance it to the uh, next screen. Okay, so once it gets to the next screen, uh, the next screen is basically going to come up after it's done, tell you your USB flash drive is ready. And all you're going to do at this point is you're going to click on the finish. All right, so I hope you liked that video. Hit that like if you like it, you know what to do otherwise. Uh, I hope I explained it well enough that you uh, get what I'm talking about. If I didn't, leave a comment, ask your questions, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.